family vacations and summer camp are some of the best things about the summer break. But all that free time could have your child developing some bad habits. Jean Ramirez shows us how to curb those behaviors. What time do you go to bed? <laughs> I go to bed like at 11.30. Oh, goodness, yes. Staying up late is a summertime norm that quickly becomes a bad habit. It's one of many. And what have you been doing this summer? Oh, playing football. How many hours a day do you play football? About four or five. Starting now, child psychologist Wendy Rice suggests parents help kids cut back little by little. I'm just not a cold turkey kind of person. I don't think it works as well. Her patient, like, Grace, is now going to bed an hour yeah, earlier every night. Grace's dad brought her in when he became aware of her bad summer habits. It's like I'm eating lunch and Grace is getting out of bed, looking all disheveled. I think um, electronics into the evening as well. If your child puts up a fight, the doctor says it's okay to incentivize. Non-tangible rewards like seeing friends. She adds now is also the time to start forming good habits like reading. And if you spot these warning signs, Rice suggests seeking professional help. And they're starting to have nightmares, and they're expressing a lot of worry, or they're having trouble eating, or they're just crying or petrified. For anxious children, the doctor recommends you remind your child about seeing their friends, maybe a favorite teacher, or that fun art class. Still to come tonight, we'll take another look at your evening weather planner.